Uh, my name is Vincent Zimmern, and I studied CSE, which is Computational Science and Engineering, here at PPFL. So I uh, attended a high school in Dallas, Texas, in the United States. Uh, and after that, I went to the University of Virginia, which is on the east coast of the US, where I studied mathematics. And then I reached my fourth year, which is typically the end of a bachelor's degree. And I asked myself, well, what am I going to do next? And I knew I didn't want to do a PhD. But I did want to continue in graduate mathematics, graduate work. But Lausanne itself was already kind of a draw. And then the, the EPFL in particular is this institution uh, that now has a worldwide reputation for being uh, a computationally uh, very active place with a lot of research going on. And then also uh, basically does an incredibly good balance of all the natural sciences with engineering. We are coming into an era now that is widely called the era of big data. Uh, and that reason being that there's just all this data being produced everywhere in, in finance, in genetics, in just about any field. Um, satellites that are, that are every day, every minute, collecting tons of information. And so there's going to be increasingly a need to be able to take a computer, uh, since this volume of data is far beyond what we can do with pen and pencil, and with that computer and the skills associated with it, break down this problem into something that you can understand, maybe a model, like a statistical model, or even a, a model of differential equations that, okay, simplifies the problem, but makes it more tractable, more understandable. And that's a skill that is going to be, I think, not only increasingly marketable, but increasingly valuable in general to society. The applications are everywhere. The applications are as diverse as uh, modeling a monetary portfolio for a bank to um, modeling um, the effect of an airbag in a, in a car accident to the, the flow over, uh, over an airfoil of the newest um, fighter jet or uh, in my case doing genomics to detect illnesses or to predict possible cancer related um, polymorphisms let's say in, in genes. I came in thinking I was going to be doing robotics and uh, some simulations of, of uh, nuclear physics and in the end I was doing computational chemistry and biology so completely different uh, but the master's program allowed that flexibility gave me that opportunity to steer a course that fit for me I worked in this lab that was focused on computational drug discovery uh, and in this case it was a drug that was uh, being worked on a particular drug idea uh, and so the idea was to model at the quantum level and at the molecular level together how this drug would, would react in the body. So it's, it was a drug that was supposed to be molecularly targeted to the heart. And once it was in the heart, you would induce a chemical reaction that would release the active ingredient and then it would operate as nitrous oxide. And so that, that chemical would then work within the heart. Um, and it was a joint collaboration between experimentalists in Bern at the University of Bern and then the computational chemists here who were developing the software to see if this was even a chemically sound idea. Could this be developed any further? So I worked uh, six months on that and, and showed that it, it was potentially possible. Unfortunately, the project kind of fell through, but it was, it was a good start. It was definitely something really interesting to see how people think through the idea of a drug first on, on a computer, how they design it, how they think about the reaction, and then go and, and try to synthesize the chemical in the lab and, and try to do clinical trials on that much, much further down the road.